What's up guys, it's your boy John. We're back again here with another video. Today we are in the Honda S2000. Now for me, this is the head unit that I like. Now it's mounted using just kind of 3M tape, but it's been holding pretty good. You can do a hard mount, but you know, I go through head units so fast. I think this is an acceptable thing. Now you can check out the fitment. Now the previous 8.8 .8 inch, had some, it kind of showed the outer perimeter, so it wasn't a perfect fitment, but with this, it covers everything. And some people ask like, well, isn't there vents right here? There's these two small, small vents that if you put it into convertible mode, that's the only time it uses that. Most of the time I don't use that mode, I just use this mode. Because when you put in convertible mode, it actually doesn't blow out of these ones. And those big ones are pretty important. So that's why I just leave it in this one. <laughs> and it blows perfectly fine. So we'll get this bad boy started. Let me just start the car too. What's in gear? So for the most part, the reason why I like something like this is because it has Bluetooth. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, both wired and wireless. So I can drive this car without knowing like, oh, am I gonna do this and that? Where am I supposed to go? And this handles that perfectly. So it should auto detect my phone and then go into Z-Link. But if not, we can go to CarPlay or Android Auto. I'm gonna go to Android Auto and it should boot into my phone so it's connecting right now as you'll see the little it's actually called a throbber which is an interesting uh interesting way to say call it and boom right there we are in android auto so there's the max brightness let me just cancel the volume so yeah i use android auto for the most part for everything so that's why it's real nice to have all that. And with the new Android Auto update, it definitely shows the map a lot. So that's good. And you know, just driving this car, just imagine driving it, you'll be able to have your nice tachometer, 9,000 RPM, or this in this case, 82. But look at that, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And I can cruise and then have that, uh, that map showing, so can't go wrong otherwise we'll go to other things i basically got this head unit just for android auto and apple carplay when it comes to android auto and apple carplay i think that's all you really need when it comes to the infotainment system now if you plan on watching videos or you know there is radio right here and stuff like that there is all of these other options it's just i don't use them so I know some of you guys might use them um, GPS and stuff like that. I can see a better gallery. You customize it the way you, to make it look the way you want it. But for my case, only Android and Apple Car Voice. So audio quality is a lot better than stock, and that's all I really need when it comes to the head unit. Better audio, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wireless. That is important to me because I just want to walk into my car and you know be done with it. Fitment. Um, <laughs> this is an S2000 for so. When this car first came out, this is a basically a 2000, 1999 design. And for a 1999 design, it still looks super clean. Look at this. And with this big old head unit with the, okay, one thing I don't like is the, the bezels are a little bit thick, the little chunk, but it does hide all the imperfection. You might, you can't even really see it. See, it's tucked all the way back there, but uh, yeah, so having a bigger unit hides everything, which is perfect. Now, if you are interested in this eye doing head unit, please just look in the links down below. I'll link it down below for, uh, you can buy it from eBay or from AliExpress. And um, overall, I think you'll be super happy uh, if you have an S2000. You just gotta figure out how to mount it. And uh, for my case, this is perfect. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you guys were interested on how to install it, uh, I have a previous video over here showing how to install a head unit into the Honda S2000. All right, thank you, peace.